SAP Business One is a functionally rich application. I'm gonna take you through and show you a number of those specific functions, and I'm gonna show them to you very quickly so you get a good understanding uh, of exactly what that functionality is. But I'm not gonna go into a huge amount of detail. You've got access to other demonstrations which will take you into a much deeper level of detail in the solution. Let's take a look at the sales order functionality inside SAP Business One. Everybody needs to do invoicing. With SAP Business One, we make it really simple. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna start off by creating a sales quotation. So in SAP Business One, you start with a sales quotation if you want to. You can pick your customer. And all of these screens, by the way, can be customized to meet your own specific requirements. But I'm gonna pick my customer. In this case, it's Earthshaker. Now they're gonna give me a purchase order number, PO number, three, four, five. And then I will go in and I will start putting in the details about the product. Now with SAP Business One, we can do both product and service-based invoicing. In this case, I'm gonna do product. I go in here to my items and I pick the items that I want to include in my quotation. So they want an IBM info print, a 1312. They are also wanting a 12 triple two and let's give them one more product in the quote. They're also interested in getting some printer labels. Now, one of the things you'll notice here, we've got a quick snapshot of exactly how much we've got of each of these products in stock. So it makes it very easy to give the customer information about exactly what it is that they're buying. That's it, that's all my updated information. There's other things I can put in around the logistics, where am I shipping it to? How am I tracking that from an accounting perspective? But we'll go into those in more detail in some of the other demonstrations. I simply now click on the add button and that's it, my sales quotation is created. I can take that sales quotation now, let's retrieve it by clicking up here on our last data record button. There's my sales quotation. I can go up here and I can click on print preview. And what you'll see will happen now is the system will go in and will generate using the format of the document that I've specified uh, a layout for my quotation. Now our default quotation I've built using uh, SAP Crystal Reports, which gives us a lot of graphical uh, capabilities to really enhance that document. We call these marketing documents, so they're the kinds of things that you tend to want to do a little bit of extra work on making them look good. And SAP Crystal Reports gives you that capability. So there it is, you can see here is our sales quotation. Of course, and I can email that out, I can print it out and, and mail it through the postal service to my customer, uh, whatever I want to do. I can fax that out directly from the computer as well if I so desire. But that's now done. Now the great thing about SAP Business One is I can go directly here from the sales quotation. I can go down here and I can say copy to sales order. So I'm now gonna take this sales quotation because the customer's rung up and said, yep, that looks great. I wanna go ahead and purchase that. And simply, I go in here, specify the delivery date. And if I wanna put today's date, I just put in a D and that puts in today's date. It's asking me, do you wanna update all of these lines to be delivered today? Yes, I do. And then I say add. And that's it, my sales order is created. So now my sales order is committed. I've got a couple of choices. Do I wanna now take that into a delivery process or do I wanna go straight to an invoice? With SAP Business One, you've got the flexibility to do it either way. In this case though, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna copy it to a delivery because I now wanna produce some delivery documentation to go with the goods. So there it is, there's all the information and I simply just click on add and now it's creating some accounting transactions because the inventory accounts have to be updated. That's why it's telling me now, you can't change this document once you commit this. If I need to, I need to put in like a credit note or something like that, which is gonna reverse out the general ledger transactions. So I'll say yes. And now it's telling me, hey, you've actually got a product in here that has batch number tracking switched on. So my print labels have batch numbers. So all I need to do here is I can manually select which batch numbers I wanna pull this label from, or I can let the system do it automatically, which I'll do by saying auto select. It'll pick the oldest batch, the batch that's gonna expire the soonest, and then it will allocate that. I'll say update, that's now done. And then I'll say add. 
Again, it's now just reminding me, counting transactions being entered, give that a couple of seconds and that's it. My delivery has now been done. What's the next step? Well, I can do this in a batch mode if I want to, or I can do it one at a time. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this delivery into an invoice. So what do I do? I find my delivery, there it is, and I go in here and I say, copy to accounts receivable invoice. That's now done, I say add, and again, counting transactions being created, I say yes, and my accounts receivable invoice is entered, and that's it. You've seen the entire process. We started from a quotation. We then went to a sales order. We turned that sales order into a delivery. We turned the delivery into an invoice, and now the customer has their goods. They have their invoice, and very, very soon, you'll get paid.